He backed the stuff. There's uh, an item on that chandelier. So I'm gonna cut it down. We're halfway there. <laughs> Lightning spear. Okay, we got throwing knives. So, <laughs> I like messing with the bodies. Hmm. Let's go back to club. I wonder, can I now run around with the club and finally be able to wrap around normal, or is it still... Yeah, it's still fat roll. Because it's fat roll, I can't. Oh man, I'm gonna. Oh, that's another gargoyle? Well, let's get the bonfire here first. Plus, I love this elevator. Yes, spin my head. Alright, man. It's the gargoyle. Earlier. Oh, did I cut its tail off? I did. <laughs> I cut its tail tail off with a fireball. That's oh, I got the gargoyle halberd. <laughs> well, I just got all the gargoyle pieces. Uh, this will take me yeah yeah that'll take me to that area. We want to go another floor down. Oh, we also want to go to that area for one of the um. Uh, pieces of armor sets down there, but we want to go down another level to the uh, to the bonfire. And this is the bonfire we will be using because first off, it's closest to it, and it's honestly a bonfire that I highly recommend for this area. Plus there's an item down here. Okay, what's the item? It is probably oh it's the ring of sensor. Can I say okay. Not yet. There's actually a boss behind there. An optional boss. Which we won't be doing until later. Let me repair my stuff. It's a good thing I bought all that stuff. There is another blacksmith here, by the way. He's a giant blacksmith. He actually shows up back in Dark Souls 3, but he's dead. It's like, oh, so sad. He's like one of our favorite players. He's, um, he'll take our weapons from plus 10 to plus 15. So, like, if you want to max out your weapons, he's the guy you want to talk to. But he also sells large titanite, so I can actually upgrade my club some more. Let's do this. Let's let this be a bit trippy. And then I hope you really didn't just leave again, because you never announce when you're leaving. Because <laughs> you leave, then come back, and it's like, okay. <laughs> Sometimes it confuses me. Time to fight the. Can I only pull one? I can! Come here, Mr. Giant.
Oh, that's one giant down. Come on over here, Mr. Giant. Giant gun. I think it's pretty uh, pretty good experience. Uh, souls though. Okay, we gotta go fight a demon. Stupid demon! Uh, I can't just run past them because I actually have to get rid of them. Because of what's up ahead. One of the parts I've been dreading the most of this game. <laughs> Plus there's a love in the elevator right there. So. I might actually have to use uh, different weapons. Dragon King Axe needs 50 strength. <laughs> uh, we could use the Black Knight Sword. Uh, yeah, I'll probably see it. Oh, I might just have it equipped actually, anyway. Because, uh, just to deal with the imps. I might equip a shield and armor just for the imps. Because with the giants, I have to roll. There we go. I'm the giant slayer. Kill the giant. Yeah, but I'll, next week I'll be streaming. Dishonored. I'll stream the first one, and once we beat that, we'll go to the second one. And yes, we'll do all the death. Come on, Mr. Giant. Yep, yeah, okay. Time for the other giant. Okay, time for armor. I finally get to wear the armor on all its glory. What? Oh wait, is that not the low health one?
Okay, I'm like majorly fat rolling. Let's run this way. I hate these imps. I hate these imps. I hate these imps. They were never this hard with my with my preferred weapon. Usually, I always always get lucky and get it. Okay. I might play with you. It just depends on what I'm doing. No! <laughs> what you playing right now, Elden Ring? <laughs> probably. <laughs> That's probably the right answer. Maybe I, maybe if I use a halberd or spear. Oh, you know that's what I might do. No, oh, maybe not. No. Mm. I want to get past this part, and then may, I'm thinking about actually switching to Overwatch too, because we did. I did actually make up for like last stream where we did nothing but, well, where we couldn't play Dark Souls. I did at least make up for that with Dark Souls. <laughs> Which I did really feel bad about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> just at least, you know, you get to see some of the gameplay for the first game, and it just leaves you some more infant, in, in, ugh, more hype for when I do go back to streaming it. I pr it's probably after the stream though. I'm probably go before I, uh, before I, uh, well, actually, I might have to. Get up now and stretch a bit. It's just I I want to get past this one part up here. Right, we're gonna get. You know what? We're just gonna run it. We're just gonna run it. We're probably gonna die for doing this, but. Okay. You deal with those two imps, and then you have to deal with the silver knights. Silver Knights are the other type of, like the Black Knights. Except the Black, well, the Black Knights were made to fight demons. The uh, Silver Knights were made to fight dragons. As you can see. Yeah, Dragon Slayer. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. So, that part's usually hard because if they hit you, even with the shield, and you're on the side part, they'll easily knock you off to your death. And so, you'll, you'll actually see in Dark Souls 1, there's plenty of blood, so blood spots there for people that have died. Okay. Let me see. Oh, that's a short YouTube video. Okay, it looks like I'm going to extend it. We'll probably go to fight the boss. I can't leave the video. It has to be 30 minutes or more, at least, for a YouTube video. Hey, Solaire. Oh, you can be summoning out there anytime you see my bridge of the shot. You left me a private impression. Thank you, Solaire. Okay, we're gonna rest here. We're gonna level up some more endurance. And now, and now we're just actually just gonna kind of rush the blacksmith here. Because at least with, yeah, uh, we're gonna get at least the shortcuts opened up. Because there, there's nothing but silver knights here. And all the silver knights are actually hard to fight. Yeah, um, how it goes is, um, how, how it was said in the intro, um, when humans were start start showing up, what what was ruling the earth was dragons, and Lord Gwyn, the one who started the Age of Fire, um, found that his lightning bolts could pierce their stone scales, 
And so they all, like him and the other deities like him, challenged the dragons. And the Silver Knights were the ones who were made just to fight the, uh, the dragons, because they, they use lightning armaments. And the Black Knights are made to fight the demons because, uh, th there's another reason for that, um, because, uh, the reason the Black Knights were made is because the Witch of Isolith who created Pyromancy, he's like, yay, you know, <laughs> this is our favorite thing. Also, you want to see, uh, secret, some secret armor? See this fireplace? Boom. We're actually gonna keep the. What was that? <laughs> now, there's a bunch of chests down here, but one of them is not like the other. So, first is. If I remember, this is Havel's set. Yes, Havel's. This is a set of armor I can be wearing, and I probably will. Um, Havel set is all about strength. Like, it's like the heaviest, it's the strongest armor in the game. And it's so strong for the fact that you can't even upgrade it. Let's take out the Mimic. Take this Mimic. How about now? He's been kicked! He tried grabbing me. That would have instantly killed me if he grabbed me. The mimic's got some moves on them. Okay. I'll equip Havel's armor. I should actually have all the stuff for it. No, I can't equip the shield. That's the only thing I can't equip. Yeah, big mimic, man. Well, everything but a shield I can equip. His name, he's known as Havel the Rock. He was inspired by the, he's a dragon slayer. He was inspired by the dragons to make his armor out of stone for higher defense against the dragons. But it's so heavy, I can't run. But it has the best defense ever. <laughs> it's actually the armor you're supposed to use against Seath. Scaleless. And um his weapon is the dragon tooth here. It requires 40 strength and boy. <laughs> what he did is basically for his weapon, he um took a dragon's tooth and stuck a handle to it. It's like, there, that's a weapon. I gotta say, that's really out of box thinking when you think about it. It's like, how do I come up with a good weapon idea? I know. I'm going to take this giant tooth and add a handle to it. Oh, over here's a Titanite demon, isn't it? That's Silver Knight. Hi, Silver. Also, what I hate about the Silver Knight armor, it's the only thing I hate about it. It has the stupid little capes. And I wish you had the altar armor pieces, because I would easily take that cape off and it's like, Ooh, yay, good armor. Soul of a hero. There's two mimics up here. I just do not want to deal with them. Let's deal with this, this dragon slayer man. And this is the only game you can actually get the um, the silver knight sword. I think you can actually get the, the spear in the third game. Uh, they're not in the second game, but um, this the straight sword is the only one you, you can only get it in this one. It's like, man, the most cool looking straight sword for design wise, it's like you can't get. <laughs> and like Dark Souls 3, it's really sad. I should know, I spent like a, a bunch, like, oh, there's Guinevere, Gwen's um, daughter. Hey, Silver Knight.
Boom. And back. Do out of this. He's all alone now. Yeah, we just gotta do a bow man here. We need to take that down. Okay. Heavy hat attack! Smash. Okay. Uh, we're gonna get the fast way this direction. We're gonna unlock this shortcut. So I can eat. Oh, there's two silver knights here? Why? We're gonna back up. <laughs> We're gonna back up. We're gonna go up here. Hey, silver knight, you can try now. No. Haha. <laughs> the lava got him. Goodness. Sorry, thank goodness. <laughs> I don't know why I said goodness before. The thank goodness. <laughs> also, you can tell that the dragon flares. Look at all the dragon heads in here. It's the trophy room. <laughs> Okay, come on, Silver. Can you open up this? Okay. Come on, Silver. Oh, yeah. Let's get the Silver Knight armor. Now that's them. We're actually gonna go rest at the bonfire, and I'm gonna go ahead and kindle it. And we should be able to inv uh, invade Lautrec soon to avenge our firekeeper. But we're gonna need Solaire's help for the boss ahead. It's almost past the 30 minute mark, so. I figure we'll fight the boss. Uh, and we'll end the video at the character after it for that and uh, and I'll probably keep the stream up and going when I switch over to Overwatch 2 But uh, I think I'm planning on doing, once I get my driver's license, is maybe, like, streaming every week, I could. Like, uh, well, I'm already doing that, but streaming as in, uh, you know, it's, uh, like, you know, all of the week, but, like, like say, like, Saturday and Sunday, like, put more into it. It's just, I just don't have my driver's license right now, that's why I'm really working on, that's why I need all the other days to work on. Because I got the permit, I just don't got the license. I just need to practice more on backing up and stuff and parking. Once I get those now down, I'm going straight for that thing. Oh wait, I forgot there's a rin test. Crap. There's a knight over there aiming at me. <laughs> Ooh, I could open the big doors, but not yet. I'll do that later. Let's go meet our blacksmith. Oh, my friend. I hear him. What, what was that? Oh, that's what it is. Oh, that, yeah, there's the core of an iron golem. I'm not, not ever going to use that, so. Use all the souls we got so we can power up our crap. Uh, repair equipment. 
Okay, let's see. Which weapon I think. Oh my gosh, I think I forgot a step. Um, yeah, purchase. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, I can get Titanite and stuff. Hold on. Oh no, wait, he sells infinite tokens. Oh, he also says the giant armor. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, we'll do it. We'll get some more twinkling. I forgot I have to go to the other guy and get the plus 10 first, but. <laughs> so we're just gonna sit here and upgrade the Black Knight sword for now. Boost all the defense as well. I'm gonna equip the Black Knight Sword because it's about to get a major power up. Okay. And then we're gonna say we're gonna use these last souls bits for upgrading. And once we get the ability of the warp, we'll go upgrade the club the plus ten so I can come back here, get plus um plus fifteen. Oh, actually, I need. I, I don't even have all the stuff to get the plus for thing. Okay, I guess doing. Oh, I can't kill the one. Uh, purchase. Uh, I might have to like come back and just farm some souls. Specifically, about to raid the sword. But right now, I think base damage, uh, 286 versus, yeah, 202. Yeah, I'm doing more with the Black Knight's Great Sword. And with the Black Knight Great Sword, it reminds me of being Guts from Berserk. So that's an added bonus. Yeah, some slayer. We're about to, it's, it's about to be boss time. Oh gosh, I'm already hurt. Okay, yeah, Black Knight instantly dead with the great Black Knight great so Let's summon Solaire. Black Order Quivering, that means I can invade Lautrec and Avenger Firekeeper, which will all, we'll actually finish the episode off with, with invading him and, getting, and avenging our Firekeeper. Lair fell down here. We're gonna do this. Okay. Yeah, big boys. Good thing Slayer's using lightning bolt. And we're gonna time for boss. Now this boss actually works a bit different. There's two bosses, and depending on who you beat depends on who the um, final soul is. So we're gonna focus Smo. Uh, it's Ornstein and Smo. <laughs> Sorry, I have to say Smo's name that way. Smo's a cannibal, while um, Ornstein's a dragon slayer. Or you'll know who Ornstein is, but because he's the one with the um, spear. But so we gotta focus Smo. That's why I hold on. I'm not rolling. I'm finally fast rolling! <laughs> yes. This is good. Here's this boss fight. Yes, no. And then Ornstein, the Dragon Slayer. I love his armor. So we need to kill Smell. But Ornstein's like very, he, he, uh, Slayer get in here and like, 
distract Ornstein while I focus snow. Mm -hmm. Come on, snow. <laughs> Smell's almost gone. Smell's almost gone. Snow's gone. Time for Ornstein. So when um when Ornstein dies, Snow smashes him with a hammer. <laughs> in this in this case, Ornstein holds like a Viking funeral for him. Before taking his power. And he grows in size because of it. This is one of the best bosses, by the way. In the, in the lightning butt bomb. <laughs> Gonna throw a fireball. Oh, is he weak? Is he immune to fire? That should not be possible. Okay, he does take fire damage, but not a lot. Oh, he did. Ah, oh, it's just me versus Ornstein. Believe it or not, um, you can fight someone similar to Ornstein in Dark Souls 2 very early in the beginning. Okay. Yep. Thank you, Pillar. Oh, no, 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 no. Got him! Woohoo! Hi, Ornstein. You were a good fight. And I get the Leo Ring. The Leo Ring boosts damage with piercing weapons. So if you have a spear, like, um, whenever they, uh, they attack and miss, your piercing damage, your damage, your like, say, spears and rapier, and uh, rapier is like doing more damage that way. <laughs> okay. Stabby stab, yeah. It, Leo Ring is best for stabby builds. Okay. I might not ever use uh, his soul, but um, if I go to the one armor guy who I'm excited to go back towards, we can um, get some more endurance. So we can get some more equipment load. Equipment load. Okay, we've rested here. We're not going to end this episode just yet. We've got some two, two, uh, three important things to do. First off, when you first get to this area, you will see s messages saying, if you're playing online, amazing chest ahead. You ready to see why? I will wait to unveil it. No. <laughs> Do you see why? <laughs> we got the Lord Vessel. We can now warp to between bonfires. <laughs> Now she has a covenant that you can join, and we won't be doing it. But um, 
I'm sad to say this is actually only an illusion of the actual person. The actual person left, like, apparently when stuff went bad, they left town. This is just an illusion place to make it seem that they didn't leave. <laughs> but it's like, that, that's supposed to be, what they're supposed to be actually look like. <laughs> okay, ready to go invade someone who killed our fire, fire keeper? This Avenger fire keeper. It's believe it or not, it said that when she left, she married a fire god. So it's one of those things where it's like, huh, oh, that's kind of funny. Oh, I have to get closer to this area out here. Don't I? Here's the deal with giant guy here. Because I, I have a feeling I have to be closer in the area. Get oh wait, he dropped an item. He dropped the giant shield. Oh my gosh. That's an overpowered shield. Black eye or invaded world of the guilty. There's a spirit of vengeance or the ghost rider. No, that's a nice callback. Oh hey Latrap. I see your friend you befriended some people. One's a mage, one's a spearman. I do believe we uh, get rid of Latrauk, uh, like the fight ends. Well, the fight just ended. But we avenged our firekeeper, we should get the firekeeper soul back. Yeah, we did. Okay. We're actually gonna go, uh, back up here and use the warp function. Uh, we should probably open the big door. Yeah, I actually have to open the big door. And I have to go back to the giant's area, the giant smith area, and um, do some. Uh, I have to go open up the door over there as well. So we can um, get back to the smith e easier, or easy, more easy. And then we're going to go warp in. We got to go place the lord vessel um, at a thing to open up all the restricted areas. So we can go fight, fight Seath now if we want to. But we'll have to save that for next time I stream this. But, um, I, you didn't answer my question earlier. Have you heard of Dishonored? Because from your reaction earlier, you didn't seem like you knew about, knew what Dishonored was. If that's the case, you're really missing out on a good game. Oh, you had, really? Oh, you're going to love this. <laughs> You're gonna expect a lot next week. <laughs> Let's just say this. Do you have a fear of rats? That's your, that's the major question. <laughs> if you have a fear of rats, it might not be for you. <laughs> At least the first game. Second game has to do with like fear of bugs. Like um, because the more evil acts you do in the first game, uh, there's um. Areas with the swarms of rats is during the time of the plague. The rats will literally eat you alive. You have to use bodies to. In some areas, you have to use bodies and throw them, for the and the rats would eat the bodies. It's actually like it's one of those things where it's like, oh gosh, that's terrifying. It's actually probably more terrifying than like being bit by a snake or being bit by a shark. Because at least with the shark, 
it might be done over with one bite with the snake, the, at least the poison would probably kill you fast. With a bunch of, imagine a bunch of, like, small little rats just sitting there nibbling at you. It's terrifying, actually. <laughs> and the more, um, your choices actually affect the game. So if you do a bunch of killings, if you, like, kill all your targets, um, there's more rats everywhere. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna end the stream here. Actually, I, I don't think I'm gonna go to Overwatch. But thank you for coming. I hope this stream made it up for our last night's stream. But thank you, everybody. If you liked the video, hit hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. YouTube video out. <laughs>